Oh man, I'll have to say, I really do love my job. There's there's not a whole lot better than seeing the look on y'all's face after we complete a theater system. You tell me it's you know the most amazing thing that you've ever heard and that you're never going to a commercial theater again. I mean, seriously, it warms my heart and just makes it all worth it. So uh, I swear, you, I just had the best customers ever. I really appreciate you guys and all of your support. It means the world to me. So if you aren't a subscriber, smash that subscribe button. We got a load of theaters for you. I'm actually heading to another one right now. Hopefully we got another happy customer. Let's go. What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater and I'm out here on another project. Just checking out all the theaters that we've been putting in. This is another Klipsch Pro Series in-wall system. I know you guys love Klipsch. I'm gonna take you inside, check it out. We also are running a Sony 295 native 4K projector with a zero edge SI slate. 1-2 screen with the backlit LED kit on it. It's a killer combo, I use it a lot. I'm gonna take you inside, show you the exact application that we're using it, and uh, give you a quick demo. Let's go inside and check it out. Check it out, guys. So, you know I use the Sony 295 a lot with the Slate 1-2 screen. There's a reason. Look at it. Just look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, this customer has all white walls, a lot of light. He likes to view it with the lights on. But look at this imaging. I mean, it's like daylight in here. Look how bright it is. And the image, even with the backlit LED kit on, is just extremely impressive. Can't really beat it. So the zero edge frame is specifically designed for the LED kit. I don't really talk about this much, so I kinda wanna point it out to you guys. See how it's like a recessed area right here? And the LEDs fit in this little groove fires out towards the wall, which is what gives you that really uh, good, basically projection onto the wall that fills up the whole thing. If you put it on a fixed frame where it has the thick edge around it and the thick edge goes like this and then it goes straight back against the wall. So it kind of blocks the light and then the LED strip bleeds into your imaging. So it's, it's not really designed for that. These screens are. SI. So let me go over the speaker configuration that we're doing in here. This is all the uh, reference Premiere. This is the Pro 250 RPW. This is an LCR speaker specifically designed for center or front, left, right, and center, which is the application that we're using right now. This does have the Ceramo metallic woofer, the Traxic horn, as well as the titanium dome tweeter, which is what Klipsch is so known for, produces incredible clarity in the dialogue. You can see this is where the center speaker was wired, and what the guys did was just pull the wiring up the wall and cut a hole here right in the center of the screen. It looks really good. Let me show you the front left and right. Same deal here. Looks really good. Sounds even better. Yeah, I would definitely say without a doubt, um, all of you guys that purchase out of state, this is my best selling configuration. I ship this out all over the place and customers send me the pictures of their DIY projects and uh, uh, really, it's really awesome to see. I appreciate all y'all's support and uh, seeing you guys, you know, get it set up in your own room. It's pretty awesome. Here at the rear of the room, we have the Pro 16 RWs. So this is one series below the reference Premiere, which is in the front of the room. 
The reason that I use these a lot is because of the rotatable horn. It's pretty cool that you can directionally point your audio towards your target seating area. Um, these were pre-wired from the builder, by the way. Um, this is very common in Texas. All these homes come with a dedicated room to use your theater in, but the builders, they pre-wire them kind of funky a lot of the time. Like, take, take a look here. This is where the surround was supposed to go. What we did in this room is Atmos 5.1.2 not seven one but either way it's a little bit high you really want your surround speakers right at ear level um, but with the configuration i think it, it's going to sound really good i'm gonna play a demo for you guys here shortly so here's the rear of the room you got your pro 16s and that's the sony the 295 this one has an acrylic glass hybrid lens but it is native 4k it doesn't have any of the uh, lens memory functions or the dynamic iris like the sony 695 but it's five grand versus ten grand it's retail cost you guys know you buy a package from us and we'll get you a deal on it we got our watt box surge protector up there as well as the fine adjust projector mount that you can micro adjust click by click i really like that guy because whenever you have a screen like this that's zero edge or you know super super thin edge uh, you're you just basically have no wiggle room. It needs to be right on the money every time. So um, what else do we have? Oh, the overhead Atmos. We use the Pro 16 RWs because the customer was gonna do 7.1, but then we decided to do Atmos 5.1.2. So um, you can also use the Pro, what's recommended is the Pro um, 16 RCs, but it's not going to hurt to put the RWs. I've used in wall and ceiling and in ceiling and wall before. Uh, this is the SPO 120 right here. It's a 12 inch woofer, ported woofer. Down here is your port. This is a really hard hitting subwoofer and it's extremely affordable. Retail is only $600. So this is gonna give your deep, low frequency bass, which is important to the cinematics of a space. When you're watching a movie, you really just wanna feel the audio moving through your soul, right? And you want it to shake your butt and make you feel like you're really feeling those explosions go off. Over here is where the wiring is terminating. System's being powered up with a Denon AVR X2600. This is a 7.2 channel receiver, 185 watts. It does Dolby Atmos DTX, uh, TT, uh, DTS X, and um, you got Wi Fi, Bluetooth AirPlay, Spotify, Pandora, all that good stuff. It's an Odyssey setup, three year warranty. So get that peace of mind, extra year warranty because it is the in command series. We always try to provide our customers with products that do have a better warranty. That way you just have that peace of mind that you're not gonna have to mess with it. The system also has Den and Heos built in. You guys always ask, you know, what's better? Yamaha, Ankyo, Denon, Marantz, whatever. Um, there's a lot of manufacturers to choose from and you know, there, there's a lot of good ones. Uh, it depends on the model. That you're looking at within the manufacturer but the reason we use a lot of denon is because denon and morantz they're actually the same company and they're like sister companies it's like toyota and lexus they have the heos built into it for multi-room streaming it's kind of like sonos you guys see us use that a lot but heos is great because it comes built into the receivers so like sonos they don't make a a home theater receiver so you have to use a sonos connect that plunks into the receiver whereas the uh, Denon's and the Morant's, they have that technology built into it. So you already are kind of building up your distributed audio system. A lot of homes, it's, it's very common to have, you know, five, one in the living, your, uh, game room wired, your master bathroom wired, your patio wired. So you can build off of this system. Basically you're not limited right off the bat, which is really nice. And they're reliable. I, I use products that I know are going to last and that, you know, the customers are going to be calling us a service calls. So we want, we want it to 
uh, just be easy to use and trouble free. So everything in this entire system has a minimum of three year warranty, which is really nice. The speakers are lifetime. Uh, what else? So you can see the, the customer may want to get a rack or a stand or something to hold this. Uh, the wiring's kind of a mess still, but uh, at least, you know, the ant can breathe. You have a Roku Ultra, which is going to be for streaming and uh, accessing their movies. It's the only device that the customer has. And nowadays, this is more and more common that uh, we're just putting in an Apple TV 4K or a Roku Ultra and calling it a day uh, because nobody wants to go to the store and grab a Blu-ray anymore. <laughs> it's uh, just convenient and the amount of loss is pretty minimal if you have high-speed internet. Most of the homes are wired for gigabit. We have the Logitech uh, Harmony system and the Logitech has the one button press remote, which is really nice. Um, you just come in here and hit, you know, watch a movie or, you know, whatever, and it's gonna turn everything on and turn in all the correct input for you. You can integrate into the Harmony as well, um, lighting control, like with Lutron or Smart Things or whatever. Um, you can also do HVAC control with like Nest or Honeywell. It's a very, very advanced remote in my opinion for the cost it's only four hundred dollars and what i really like for again all of you out-of-state customers love you guys um you can set it up on your phone you don't need a professional installer like us like we do have control four and savant and urc and that's great you know it's it's awesome if you have an installer that's you know, around the corner to help you out if you ever need to make changes, but the Harmony puts you in control of your own system. You can come right in on your phone, program this whole room yourself, and you don't have to worry about paying an installer, you know, their service fee to make any changes. You get a new Roku, you get a new Apple TV, you get a new cable box, you just come in, select the model, boom, you're done. So I really like this system. And they actually just came out with a new model, the uh, Harmony Pro 2400, which the guys installed, I just haven't had a chance to record it. So I'll let you know what I think about that one. It looks like it just has more IR outputs on the back, which would give more custom installation options. Last thing guys, um, dirt protection. Just like on the projector, we have it back here. Um, Wattbox is a great manufacturer. They actually guarantee a certain level of uh, a dollar amount of protection. So I think this one's like $50,000 it protects, which is way overkill uh, for this system. But um, you, you never know, you, we never know what he's gonna add in. Uh, these are pretty affordable. They're really stout uh, surge protectors and it kind of gives you, again, just that peace of mind of knowing that your system's protected and you're not gonna end up with problems that you gotta come out of pocket for. So we try to give you that all-inclusive experience. Um, well, you guys wanna hear your demo? Let's fire it up. I'll give you one that's uh, Dolby Atmos demo and then I'll give you another one that is the video quality demo. I'll do like a well, an 8K or 4K content, show you what it looks like. Let's do it. Right now, you're listening to where cinematic audio has been. Because we are so used to hearing sound this way, we don't notice that it is merely a fraction of what its potential could be. What if sound could be... captivating? With Dolby Atmos, audio can precisely move in any direction within this theater. Whether the sound sweeps from the back, Today, you will feel every dimension. How does that sound? What makes a quality system come together? And a quick three phrase um, explanation, what I would say is a mixture of clarity and dialogue, which is, you could hear coming from that center speaker, it was coming through crystal clear, nice mid-range, as well as that deep, hard-hitting bass when you need it, and tight bass 
when all those three elements come together, you end up with a really well-balanced system that you're going to love no matter what content you're watching. If you're up here watching the news, you're going to, you know, be able to clearly hear the news. If you're watching a movie, you're going to hear that car ripping around the corner, the helicopter overhead, the explosions pounding you from behind and with the bass, but then the main character talking, you hear crystal clear. I think the guys did a fantastic job setting up this system. The calibration is definitely on point um, and it sounds amazing. So let's go ahead and play a picture quality demo and let me know what you guys think. Okay, so this is one thing with Sony, right out of the box, this guy has what they call their reality creation board. And I swear it just gives the most natural lifelike picture on a lot of the nature scenes, as well as like skin tone. It's, it's a pretty impressive projector, especially if you're just gonna do 16 by nine, which is for the average person gonna be your best format because um, in a, let's talk about that a little bit more while I have you guys here. So, um, you, whenever you have a 16 by nine aspect ratio, that's this format right here, your standard like television, which you would see in, in, in your living room. And whenever you watch a movie on your living room TV, you see bars top and bottom. Well, same thing's going to happen here on this screen if they watch a large production film. But whenever you get into like the higher end Sony, the Sony 695 or the JVC projectors, they have lens memory where you can switch between like 240, 235 formatting to fill the entire screen when you're watching large production films. But whenever you're, you know, your average consumer, you're watching Netflix, you're watching cable, you're watching uh, the football game, you're watching a wide variety of content and a lot of it is in 169. So for the average person, 169 is going to be recommended. I get that question all the time. Should I go 235? Should I go 240? Or should I go 169? I think you should go with the transformer that actually changes the aspect ratio, but those are a fortune. For the average person, this gives you excellent picture and a good variety of content. Because even whenever you have, you know, this is 120 inch, whenever you have bars top and bottom, you still have a massive image and it looks really good. You can see this room, we just have the one row of seating. So this is definitely sufficient for the space. Let's go ahead and play one more demo. I'll do it with the lights on. You can see it's definitely not bad, but it's an ALR screen, 65%. If you had a white screen, you wouldn't be able to see anything. There's a ton of light in this room. So what he'll probably do is like, say you got the boys over, you wanna watch some football, just turn it down like this so it's not all weird. You're not sitting in the dark with your buddies. You have some light in the room, but look at the image difference. A lot better. That was a lot of ambient light. And these walls are white too, which traditionally in home theater, you guys all know it's recommended to paint the room dark on the ceiling, dark on the walls, all matte finish. So check it out. This uh, subwoofer is amazing. I swear, guys, these, these clip subs are super cheap and they hit hard. I can just feel my legs, <laughs> the air shaking my leg, pant leg right now. Uh, and we're not even watching like a hardcore movie. It's, it's pretty impressive. I hope that you guys do enjoy that demo. Uh, if you're looking for a system in your own home, uh, just give us a call. We'd be happy to create a system design for you. Send us over some pictures of the space and we can optimize a system specifically for your needs. 
Uh, we do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee on every single product that we sell. We really appreciate all of your support. We are truly blessed to have um, all of the customers. You guys are absolutely uh, wonderful. If you do have questions or you would like to make a purchase, feel free to shoot us an email or give us a phone call. Uh, we'll leave our contact information down below. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Until next time, thanks for watching.